Hi guys, Shomofo here. I'm playing, I am overburdened, and I am just, oh, I'm amazing. Check how far I have got. Uh, something I would like, which would be nice, be a way of knowing um, exactly, even if I'm an idiot noob like myself, of how far I've pro progressed, so I know how, how many levels in I am. That would be nice. But needless to say, I think I've definitely the furthest I've ever been in in a single run. So uh, this is actually part two. If you haven't seen the beginning of this, go and check the previous video in the playlist uh, of my first look. I am overburdened gameplay playlist. Go and do it now. Go and do it now. I'll wait for you and then uh, you, can, you can watch this one and see me just die straight away. <laughs> okay. Let's go. Oh, it gives you the creeps. Crikey. And now I've got no choice. I've never had to fight one of these, what looks like some kind of rock monster or golem before. Um, but he's looking uh, quite brutish. Just to give you a recap on the old items, I have got the wolf head. Uh, well, you can read these. <laughs> I'll read them out to you. Don't be silly. The wolf head, one monster in each dungeon will be a hallucination, but I get plus three to everything. The hangman's favourite, 50% chance of nullifying damage suffered from a hit if it would be deadly. I've got the red tie. The attack and speed bonuses of the tie are doubled when uh, I'm under 50% health. I'm uh, plus one to attack, plus one to vitality, plus two to speed. Uh, regular Van Brace. Moderate defence and a tiny attack bonus for uh, an exchange of speed. So that's plus one attack, plus four defence, minus one speed. Uninspired shoulder plate. It's just plus four defense. Gold digger's chain heals me for one health point when picking up gold. It's got plus three luck on it. Travel bundle. Every dungeon level has an extra pickup. Nice. Dull gauntlets. Increase both your attack and defense values, but reduces your speed. So that's plus two attack, plus three defense, minus one speed. Thunder mallet. When I strike a monster. Um, all of the creatures in the dungeon get hit for one point of lightning damage. The red security shirt, 20% chance to save me from death by teleporting to a nearby location, as well as plus one defense, plus one speed, and plus one luck. The gemstone wristlet, all oh, plus fours to everything. Powering dagger, 15% chance to use your defense value as an attack bonus when striking, which is nice because uh, my defense is, uh, I think, my highest attribute at the moment. Magician's Ace of Clubs, plus 66 luck for finding better artifacts scattered around the dungeons and in chests. So I'm really, I'm really on a kind of uh, great vibe. Extra, extra loot per dungeon and extra chance of it being top-notch gear. Gosh, really am the art, quite the artifact hunter. Um, Lenny Wim's a red sash, plus 25 speed bonus to my initiative trials, and that's plus 1 speed, plus 2 luck. A leprechaun sack, plus 1 luck for every 5 gold you own. Wow, that must increase my luck up and down. Rates, rates may change. Uh, Wanderer leather boots. I'll have to remember that, I'll have to remember that actually, that the more, to build up some coin, just so I can get it up to plus 10. 5% uh, chance of dodge and attack beside the speed bonus, plus 4 speed. Common place armor pants. Huge defense bonus, but restrained movement. Uh, plus 5 defense, plus 1 vitality, uh, minus 2 speed. And of course, my little hedgehog. My hedgehog, of course, if you saw the last episode, you'll know, I brought him out. So I've done this in one run. Gosh. Wow. Gosh, no, that can't be right. Maybe I picked up the... No, what? Maybe I've just set him to pick him up from my stash. Either way, I can't remember. It's so long ago now. I've done so much crawling through dungeons. Um, but I picked him out from my stash at the beginning. Um, when hit, one damage is reflected to the striking enemy. But also one goal gets lost. But you get plus four speed. And a fun little hedgehog. Uh, that, in my imagination, follows me around everywhere. Okay, let's try and take on one of these guys for the first time. Oh, ouch. Ouch. Right, he's a bit tough. Don't like that. Right, now I think we can just escape if we wish. Let's get the gold. 
And yeah, let's just do runner. Rusting Fort. Oh, Rusting Fort, I think, is um, the one achievement I've not unlocked yet. So yeah, this is the furthest I've ever been. If I can get through this dungeon, then I've uh, got a new achievement. And I think I will definitely be uh, adding this score to my Hall of Fame. Oh, and I've just had a lovely bit of coffee, but managed to spill some all over me. Oh, and just done it again, like an idiot. Right, forget the coffee, let's go dungeoneering. <laughs> oh, that was just a trick. Ouch, 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 ouch. Why am I in? Ouch. That wasn't fun. Okay, it's getting really tough now. It's getting really tough. I'm getting the, uh, the potion getting out of here. Oh no! Oh, this is tricky. Those guys are really difficult. I believe uh, when you kill them, or in the middle of attacking them, they spawn in other stuff. It's probably when you kill them. Oh, tricked again. Still, you've got to remember this is increasing my luck, so I should should have plus ten luck by now. Okay, just going for the path of least resistance here, I think. Nice. Excellent. Yeah, the potion. We'll get the gold, then we'll get out of here. Oh, Steve! Achievement unlocked. Aged fighter. Lovely stuff. Okay, what are we going for? I'm just going to spend 75 on attack. Bring that up into the 30s. Uh, that means everything's in the 30s apart from a luck. Uh, but of course, I've got an item that will, when maxed out, give me plus 10 luck. So that's actually probably more like 29 at the moment with the... Uh, I think it's money-based. The Crystalline Cavern! I've never been here. Look, there's that... He's one of those raveny people. From the thing with the guy who got rid of all the stuff. And what's this? Some kind of crazy golem. Gosh. Okay, let's... Ow. Oh, this is not boding well. You have to be really careful in here, guys. I'm not going to make it, am I? I'm not going to make it. Wish me luck. Wish me a luck. What? He made it. I can actually get this. And get this. Yes. Oh, we need a health potion. Not seen a health potion in a good while. Oh, there it is. But this brute is in the way. Well, guys. Wish me luck. This could be this could be the end of my longest run so far. Yes, dead. <laughs> Avenged your old self in the next run. Okay, so statistics, um, attributes did quite nicely there. It did quite nice on that as well. 105 kills over 100 kills. Lovely and uh, 800 plus gold. Lovely. Story reached the crystalline cavern level two. Killed by one of those things. And uh let's go back. And I think we shall immortalize this one. What? It's not that impressive. I want to immortalize it. Immortalize my final numbers. No. Oh my words. Well there you go guys. If I'm gonna get to immortalize it. It's probably going to take about three episodes. <laughs> How nerve-wracking will that be? Uh, might have to get some uh, live streams of this on the go. In fact, by now, because I've recorded a couple of these videos in advance, uh, I may well have to just live stream to get some help and support.
So make sure you follow me on Twitch. Make sure you follow me on Twitch. Okay, let's leave that. And don't forget, of course. Oh, why didn't I click retry? Let's just click. Get in here. Come on, show my car. Yeah, don't forget. If you like the videos, throw some, throw some likes and some comments on. Let me know what you think. And of course, make sure you're subscribing, guys. All the cool guys subscribe. <laughs> oh, there's lots of bats and things. Um, yeah, these these are worth it. Okay, now yes, on my inventory, I've got a hedgehog already. That's from my stash. I should have checked my stash to see if I had any new things, and I should have checked uh, my books to see if I had any more information about creatures and such. Commonplace armor pants. Some carroty vitality. Much needed. Much needed. I want the money. Just die, will you? Oh, I'm gonna chance it. Just, I've got... I've got treasure lust. So, uh, I'm trying to get my money up. I'm gonna leave that guy, though. Last bat in the dungeon. What a star. What a star. See, there you go. I can afford to uh, have a look at this chest already. No, I can't. There's a rat in the way. I'm going to be killing these guys. Oh! Actually, no, because there's a bat in the way. I was going to say I had to take those two out to get the potion, but of course there's a bat in the way. Anywho. I'll go for this bat first. And... Yes, phew. At least increase my defense. And grappling hook. 8% chance to jump over enemies when hitting them if the target is clear. Plus one attack, plus one speed. Oh, what the hey, let's go for the items. Hope the items will get us enough to get through. Kitchen leg cast. Heals you one point when entering a dungeon floor. And that's plus one attack and defense, uh, minus one to speed and luck. So I'm just hobbling about now. I'm hobbling about now, but it's all balanced out because I've got a grappling hook. And guess what? I'm going to die now anyway. Watch this. <laughs> Told you. <ya. laughs> I called it. <laughs> Absolutely called it. Um, but that's great. Because now I didn't want to retry. I wanted to go back to the beginning and show you guys the books and stuff. Oh, gosh. Now I'm just going on a rat killing frenzy. Well, I've got my crutch back and I've got the achievement unlocked a stockpiler, which is nice. Kill this bat for some gold. I haven't got the item where I can smash that. I quite like that item. It's just, I'm having fun with bats anyway. There we go. Save me a bit of time. Have that rat. Grab that attack bonus. Yeah. Kill them all. Get the gold. Die. Well, there we go. Rinse through that one. Uh, why not? Have that. Nature Walker Tower, we've had that before, it's lovely, extra speed and defense bonus at the same time, plus two defense, plus three speed. And let's just kill this guy. That was nice. Oh wow. Nobody causing us any issues here. That means I can take a potion and try that. What's in the chest? Yeah, hallucinating, but don't need the health potion. Utility belt. I don't think I've had that before. Plus, uh, five percent chance to strike a critical hit. Two percent chance to dodge incoming attacks. Plus one attack, plus one death, and plus two speed. Lovely. On full health, so uh, I guess I get to leave that potion. Or well, maybe I should have took it. Maybe that would have cured my thinginess. Still, is yeah, it did, and I got plus four. Oh, you get did you get plus four? Just increase. I don't know. Got a flail of failure. I like this item. 
5% of your strikes miss their target, but adds 1 to 4 to your attack in battle. And uh, plus 1 to speed. Okay, this cheeky. What a cheeky little guy. Lovely. I'm not feeling. I remember when I first started playing this, feeling quite. Uh, I was going to say overburdened then. <laughs> Just. Uh, it's been a long time since I've played any kind of um, roguelike dungeon crawler. And uh, I was feeling a bit overwhelmed with some of the stuff, but now I'm just loving this. I love rinsing through it. It's so good. I really can't wait to be doing some live streaming with this. Okay, I've got minus one luck. Let's sort that out. Let's say hi to the raven. Ooh. It's an exciting looking item there. I've not seen before, and I can just go and grab it. Mana Vial. Oh, I think I have had that before. Heals you for four points the first time you pick it up, and you get plus four vitality. Speaking of vitality, let's get some carrots down us. And we've got managed to get our luck back up to zero. There we go. Let's get one whole luck. Let's go. Bleach is quite easy at this point. Yeah, that bat's not giving us too much trouble. Most of these critters are just with the items I've got here now. These are just fodder. Look at that. Look at that. Just power through it. Okay, let's see what's in here. A blood... Blood finger claw. One health point retrieved when you deliver a critical strike. Lovely. So, let me know. Have you guys had a go of this yet? What do you think of it? I think it's pretty cool. Oh, I miss it. Just because I was talking to you. Well, I hope you're enjoying it. I, <laughs> I really am. It's just such a lovely, quick game to pick up and play for a bit. And uh, Abby talked to him about the whole F10 killing my game shenanigans. Um, I think at some point an auto. Not an auto save, but a save progression is on the cards. Now I've got a spare health there, but I see that was my cunning plan anyway. I was going to have to take one to go up there, so it would have been silly if I'd have taken that one first. Uh, so I purely thought that out; it wasn't just accidental. Um, yeah, but hopefully, um, uh, as I've been speaking to the developer, really cool guy. I'm just going to call him Spidey because his name is, is I think it's Hungarian or some such. His name's a little bit hard for me to pronounce. But he's a solo developer. He made this game all on his lonesome uh, under the name of uh, Magic Item Tech. What a splendid game it is too. He's working on some other titles at the moment. Um, but yeah, you get really nice fast games, but um, there is no save progress at the moment. But hopefully, hopefully some point in the future, uh, we'll be able to have the ability to save progress. As you know, if you're getting really far into it, you know, if you just picked it up to play it for a little bit because you're having short games, and then suddenly you do a massive run, you're just going to be stuck there playing it because you're not going to be able to turn this off, are you? Now there you go, I've got my, my roots all sorted. But look at me just killing these foes. Have that. Oh, look at them just get wrecked. <laughs> Have that. Cleared the entire dungeon without needing either of those potions. So we can chance our luck with this thing. Let's see what happens. Plus three. It doesn't do anything. Don't do anything. No. Right. Still, that was nice. <laughs> and we can choose any of these things. The problem is, I don't know what these are. I will have to learn all of these. I will have to learn all of these and then get a little spreadsheet on the 
so I can recognise them. Because I really don't want to pay 75 gold to then have it replace one of these items. I'm not going to buy something like that, like a chest plate, when it might get in the way of that. I don't know what this is. It looks like a scarf. Have I got any things of neck things? That's a man of fire. It's a utility belt. Pants. Yeah. So I'm going to try this. Don't say its name three times. See, I should recognize that one. I've seen that before. Uh, that saves me from three deadly hits, but don't thank it the third time. Look at this for attack bonus boosts. And a bit of coin. Now, here's the question. Are we still... I could just wander out. I can get out here. Don't need to do anything. In fact, uh, the easiest thing to kill in here. The leeches. Can't get to get that one without the crab. Now, are... Oh, let's get that first. Are leeches easy to kill? Yeah, a crab's easy to kill. <laughs> All right then, <laughs> let's go, guys. Oh, shocker! Have that. Get the coin off of it. Racking them all. Are the frogs a little bit trickier? Yeah, frogs are a little bit trickier, but we've got a potion, so all is good. I see money. Uh, we've already got that item, I think. Leather pauldron. Not sure I've had that before. Plus 25 speed for your initiative trials besides the protection bonus. Plus 2 death. Plus 1 speed. Lovely. Alright. Oh, I really like the item that allows you to smash the chests. I've got, I had that in my stash, but I chose the hedgehog instead. Right, we've got to kill one of these. These guys are a bit tougher. Can just wreck this fill. I feel now I can get to the potion if I want. These are oh, unlocked the crabs info. Crabs just getting wrecked. I've already got this item, I think. Yep. Right, since there's a potion there, let's get these. Hallucinating. Does taking the potion stop that? I don't know. Let me know if you know. Right. What have we got? What have we got? Crap should go down easy. Yes. Let's see what's in the chest. Dragon egg. Oh! So we've got a choice. This would mean getting rid of my hedgehog familiar, who's been with us for so long now. He comes out on his on every adventure. I think I'm going to name him Gerald. Um, when one hit damage is reflected, the striking enemy, but also one goal gets lost, and I get plus four speed, as opposed to heals me for one health point when I kill a monster. Mm, for just one point of health, I'm going to keep... And then go on an angry rampage because I just wasted 25 of my gold. So, this is. Sorry, guys. Angry ra rampage time. Oh, hallucination, bit of luck. Yeah, just remember this is what happens. Dungeon creatures of the world beware. I feel to see because I could have bought health for no good reason. Uh, oh, I'm going to waste 25 gold on that. Thank you. Always, cl always click on the crow. Tricky. Right, got to take this guy on. No choice. I'm going to take that guy out. What's the frog like? The frog's pretty tough. Frog's pretty tough. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Managing it though. I think I've got a reasonably nice combination of items at the moment. <laughs> Have that. Okay, I'll get the 
check out the freebie chest. We've got the red shirt. Love the red shirt. What's this? Ah. So we've got the mana vial that heals for four points the first. So, right, the, the healing aspect of it is neither here nor there. It's been used. Um, but it does heal you for more than the gold diggers chain initially. Uh, and you get plus four vitality. Gold Digger's Chain heals for one health point when picking up gold and plus three luck. Okay, my luck's a bit low, so I'm going to switch. Let's have some of that, and let's see what's in this. I've already killed everything, and now I've blocked myself in. And let me just keep. Can I, can I keep? Ooh, good. So you can jump across them like that. I thought I'd be blocked in and have to take that horrible potion. Go on then. Buzzard's Feather. Plus six attack bonus. Minus four luck. It's a good job I switched to the one for luck. Bit of a speed bonus. Right, let's get some money. Thank you very much, sir. And you can just kill that guy. <laughs> These are tough. I just want to clear the way out. Well, that was simple enough. We can get that gold. Um, might actually take this guy out. Try and get a bit more luck. One luck isn't much. That's much better. And then... Let's see. Yeah, we got him. Is it worth it? Ordinary Great Helm. 5% of attacks missed due to reduced sight, but you get plus 5 defense. Can live with that. Oh, lovely money. This health there, I can pick this up without having to do anything. Better pick this up. Nice. Let's see what's in the chest. Spyglass. Yes, I love this item. We can now see the health bars of the creatures. Don't think it does any other bonus. No, it's just we can see what they are and it also uh, reveals hallucinations. Right. Fortunately, it doesn't give us any numbers. We can't tell who's harder than who, but we can see who's, who's got health left. And uh, I might just kill this guy, grab the potion. I just get my gold up above 50. Take the potion into full health. And so we go, welcome to the Black Raven Market. I really want that, that looks exciting. But it costs 75 and I've only got 50. Let's see what we can get. No! I hate things. I hate spending money on things that fill the same slot. I feel ripped off. 5% chance to dodge all incoming attacks. Huge defense bonus, but restrained movement. I think the 5% chance to dodge is worth it. Let's switch. And also it feels me. It, it feels me? What? It doesn't feel me. You saw nothing. Uh, it makes me feel like I didn't waste money, is what I was trying to say. <laughs> Raven's confusing me, aren't you, sir? Yeah. Do you know what he's saying? Is it, listen carefully. He's saying subscribe. <laughs> subscribe. <laughs> <laughs> okay guys, I hope you enjoyed that. If you like the videos, make sure to leave a like. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. If you want to get the game, links are in the description. It's available on Steam and it's so much fun to play. I'll see you very soon. Don't forget to subscribe. Subscribe! I'll see you later. Bye-bye.